You know, yesterday's video took off way more than I expected it to, and I'm glad that people liked it. I didn't really show much gameplay, but at least I showed the prototype that I built in like four days. If you haven't seen it, it's right here. Today's video, we're gonna go along the same line. We are going to continue talking about Core, and I mentioned that Core has multiple monetization options. And today we're going to showcase one of them. Maybe it'll get you interested and you'll dive right in. Honestly, I need an excuse to show my screen more and record with it. So I'm gonna show y'all the core challenge board today. And this core challenge board, it's important to note that it is restricted to the creators in the payouts pilot program. The core payouts pilot program is an exclusive program where you have to apply and be accepted. If you've been a game developer in the past and other games like in Fortnite, Unity, Unreal, you can submit your content from that. Or if you're building in core right now and you think you have something good, submit that and apply for this program. It's a great way to monetize and get in early. So on this board, we have several different challenges. Each one offers a various amount. So this first one, this is, I've seen the October board. This is the second month that they're doing it. This is the most improved game for November. So if you've built anything before November, for me, it's Minotaur you can upgrade it and make it better and then submit it for November's most improved game. And that's a great option. This one is up to $1,000. That's quite a bit. So if you're in the payouts program, there's a lot of options for you. The next one is also a common challenge. It's best new game. So you have to start this after November 1st. You just build something new. I think I have a few ideas on what I wanna transfer over. I probably will tackle this after I've touched on Minotaur quite a bit. Now we get into some of the more unique stuff, uh, the stuff only for November. So I saw this and I thought it was really interesting because I had a discussion with Duquesne, a Halo friend earlier, where we were talking about setting up racing because that's his thing. So best land vehicle controls, this looks like a really fun challenge. I don't think I'll be able to tackle this yet, but if you trust your coding skills, this is a great opportunity. Thousand dollars, nothing to sneeze at. This next one's really interesting because it's the best cooking and eating system. And honestly, there's some interesting ones that are out there in games right now that could be recreated in core. I really think it'd be cool to see the Elder Scrolls system where you take a bunch of ingredients from different parts of the environment and then combine them together to make potions or something like that. Could be really cool. Maybe like a speed race run 24 game where you go out, you harvest, and then you build power-ups so that way you can use them to beat other people in the future and gather faster and more. Really interesting challenge here. This one's 500. So I probably won't be participating in the cooking or the land vehicle controls. Also, probably not this next one, not really my thing, but it's really interesting. Best enemy NPC or monster set. Now, if you don't know, you can create what's called costumes in core and basically they attach to the character model. They also have NPCs and they also have monsters that you can use to fight against. So that way you can make single player games. So if you design anything, they have a bunch of primitives and materials, lots of really cool options to build your own stuff. So $500 for NPC or monster set, love it. This next one I really wanna do, it's really up my alley, but best competitive stats tracking and display, this is something that right up my alley and I really want to do it. I don't think I'll have the time, but there's some really cool systems that you can do that are inspired by other games. There's some cool ideas out there and I hope some people try this and share it with me. The next batch I'm going to go through relatively quickly, but I think they're all really cool ideas. They're just not up my alley. So best survival equipment set. This reminds me of like hardcore Skyrim mods. Those are really cool. Best urban construction kit for those who like environments. I would love to see this. I'm not personally a fan of urban environments. Post-apocalyptic, that's very common Fallout stuff. Really cool ideas. Best pets. I'm terrible at sculpting, so I'll let somebody else handle that. These last two though are really interesting. Best cinematic game scene. I think I might be able to try with like tutorial game scenes. And then best weather kit is also really interesting. I'm really curious how people will create this in game. I haven't, I haven't dived enough into core to know what kind of things can be built. 
So I'm really curious to see the results of this. And with that, I've covered most of November's stuff. So let's switch on back. I have been really wanting to show this because I want to show people the options that exist for monetization in Core. There's a lot of options. A lot of it you do have to be in the payouts program, but there's incentive there to work your way to it. This is early on and you could be a first mover and use this opportunity to make a name for yourself if you're just starting out in game development. I apologize if this isn't in line with most of the videos I make. I wanted to at least do something. I'm just not feeling well today, so I found something that's relatively important that's on the track of what we've been talking about. And I think it's good for people to know at least because monetization is a very important part of making a living. So I'm not feeling well, I need to go eat something and then relax. I did this in the morning and tomorrow I'm excited because I'm doing more of this coding backend stuff for core that should make my game development super quick. So I'll see you tomorrow. I know what the video is for tomorrow and uh, it's a good one.